While Olympic silver medalist Bianca Batenhag has become a Laureus Sport for Good Foundation, South Africa's newest ambassador, joining an expanding group of South African sporting icons who dedicate their time and efforts to uplift South Africa's youth through the power of sport. Batenhag will be looking to use her skills to empowering youth from underprivileged backgrounds from a sports perspective. Laureus SA has been based at the Stellenbosch Academy of Sport since January this year and works closely with the academy to empower and uplift the community through sporting programs. Peter Dach joins us now on Zoom. Bianca, very good evening. Good to speak to you. What does it mean to you to be appointed at Laureus for Good Sport Ambassador? Good evening, guys. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Um, to be a Laureus Ambassador, I mean, it means the world to me. I think um, just the, the, the focus, what they have, the goal that they stand for, um, the people that are walking alongside them, um, like a power team. And uh, I think we just really align our life dreams are, are very much aligned. Um, we, we really want to contribute um, to, to those people who didn't necessarily have the opportunities and the resources that we had um, growing up. So, no, what an honor. Excellent. Now, what role will you play as an ambassador? I will try my best, um, like I have been doing in the, the last uh, 10 years, um, to contribute to, like I mentioned, um, to contribute to the lives of others. I feel like sport is in essentially quite selfish, and you're very concerned about your own points, performance, rankings, etc. Um, but once you reach the end of your career, you really, uh, that's not enough motivation to keep going. So if I can change the life of, of a handful of kids, um, all the blood, sweat and tears in my sporting career would have been worth it. Now, as an Olympic silver medalist, what can young people learn from your experience at the highest level of the sport? I think one, one message that kind of um, is weaved through my life is you really need obstacles to build character. And um, obstacles, no matter how big or small, and we all face them. Um, and I think that's something that, that has really, really been true um, in my life, I think building character and perseverance and grit and just keep keep going even when things get tough um, in and off the sports field. I hope to encourage um, the younger generation to do that. Now, we can't talk about Youth Day without having a conversation around unemployment. Now, what were your benefits from a career in sport and how do you envision encouraging young people to explore sport as a career? Well, essentially, when I started um, competing internationally, I didn't think that the sport would ever be my career, that I would ever be paid to surf. And um, one thing led to another, and a few doors opened, and it really was, I think I was one of the first girls in South Africa um, to be able to maintain that um, career over a decade. So I think, don't think it's impossible. Give it a shot. Um, you never know which, which doors open for you. And I mean, a career... Inside of sport, um, normally sport is a passion before it is a career. So mm. don't lose the love for it, even though you, um, you get paid to do it. Now, there's a conversation I've had with a number of people around a career in sport. So there are those people that absolutely love sport, but are actually not good at it. What are some of the career options outside of actually playing sport? So if people aren't as good as you were to be a professional surfer, what in and around surfing do you think they can do? Well, there's a lot of opportunities, um, for example, in, in coaching and development, um, as well as uh, companies that maybe would, would endorse um, certain sport events or athletes. Um, then you've got the media aspect. Uh, now with social media being so big, um, there's, a, there's a lot of opportunity when it comes to public relations. So I think uh, depending on, on what uh, niche you're most interested in, the opportunities are endless. Now, outside the actual sport of surfing, there are numerous life skills that you've picked up over the years. What are some of these life skills and how will they impact your ambassadorial work? I know we talked off air about you encountering sharks uh, in the water. So <laughs> clearly you're a courageous woman. I wouldn't consider myself to be too courageous. Um, I think as athletes, we, we get thrown into the deep end um, from, from a young age. So from the age of 14, you're traveling. Uh, alone away from home most of the time so you have to develop um, personality traits that'll that'll you know make you endure the the, the young life of an athlete um, so I think we, we grow up quite quickly um, if I can say it like that um, and yeah we we obviously very focused determined hard working because um, without that the results just don't come so 
I think the, the essence of what you put in is what you get out mm -hmm. can never be more true, and it's very evident in a sporting career. Now, Bianca, there are a number of social issues affecting young people. Now, where does your passion lie, and which problems in particular, I, I assume you've had time to think about it, would you hope to tackle? So my, my biggest love um, is, is mainly aimed towards children, um, mainly because I feel like a lot of them get born into situations where they haven't chosen um, their position. So I, I, the need is so big, especially in South Africa. I mean, you can talk about abuse, but abuse goes from emotional, physical, sexual, drug abuse. Um, so I'm just trying to approach um, upliftment of children in a holistic way mm. and not focusing on one specific thing. Um, and in, in the organization that I'm, that I'm um, involved in, Life Community Services, here in my hometown of George, um, we've got ECD centers, so that's from the age of three, so it's creche, and then we've got a primary school, and then we try and, you know, like I mentioned, do it in a holistic way, so there's feeding schemes, education, um, there's social work, foster homes, so we've got the whole array of, of angles in which we try and help children. Now, one of the pictures that we were looking at in the background there, you surrounded by young black people. Do you hope to introduce young black people to surfing? You do know that we are not natural born swimmers, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the stereotype. Um, I, think, I think just this basic um, right to be able to swim is just so overlooked, um, especially in the informal areas where there's no access to a swimming pool, for example. Um, so, yeah, I think surfing is, would, would be great, but just starting at... at the first steps of maybe teaching them to swim or introducing them to sport for the first time. And that's more where my aim is at. Bianca, thanks so much for speaking to us and congratulations once again. Thank you so much.